please, 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 please. I don't even want to put my headphones in because I'm in a coffee shop right now. It's a little, you probably hear back, things in the background. Bridges to wall. I don't know how. Bridges to wall. It's a little, Check out the hair bro matching the shirt. <laughs> I'm in the process of creating something. Something. <laughs> but um, it's funny because as I'm typing or writing something, you know, uh, well, let's first give honest and source the creator and, you know, ancestors no one and all. Most importantly, clap it up for yourself on your journey. Um, so I'm typing something. I'm going to probably just go ahead and read it to y'all. And it just says, um, I've spoken about this before, but I'm just going to read it. But it says, uh, I don't know how to be a father, a partner, a lover, even a friend. As I watered myself and healed the things I wanted to ignore internally, I never had healthy foundations as a father, a lover, a friend, and partner. Years of consistent unhealthy patterns led me down a path of looping through the same behavior patterns of being from being abused to blossoming to into the abuser I'm sure I gotta go here and do what I'm saying yeah um so yeah, years of consistent unhealthy patterns led me down a path of looping through the same behavior patterns from being abused to blossoming to the abuser. Only, only to come to the self-realization, I became of everything I hated. Uh, the childhood pain were like seeds planted in my mind and my internal world. It began to grow like weeds in my garden of life itself and eventually spread uncontrollably like a wildfire amongst the fruit of my own creations. And just even in that, um, it's like, you know how you want to progress in life. And some things we're not even conscious of, of the behavior patterns that we probably have learned and picked up on. And it's like, a lot of things I realized with trauma or certain things that can do, can have an effect on even trying to find a solution. Because that's been one of my most difficult and challenging things is I can acknowledge or have acknowledged the trauma. But I, that's why I feel like sometimes where therapy can come in because from people who have experienced so much trauma or even painful experiences and probably may have suppressed it, have repressed memories and emotions. I was talking to someone recently who brought up the fact of how they still have things replay in their mind regarding uh, um, an experience when we were kids and it was just like wow to just hear someone that could relate or just the fact of like them being an elder to me and I was just like blown away because I was just like wow like you too and I feel like that's many of us that probably have we, we cycle through things in our minds because of repressed memories or because having to deal with childhood traumas or experiences where the flight or fight, fight or flight comes in. <laughs> Excuse the stuff in the background, I'm still continuing. And um, like I said, from, from the cycles or me saying like looping through those things, and then to really come to the self-realization of how um, how the, just the, even a mental disorder of like going on for so many years and just having neglected so much of the parts of yourself and then learn these patterns from people who never really truly loved themselves or really never took accountability. Like it really is a challenge daily you know, when I journal, when I find a reason to encourage myself, even um, moments where I'm here with myself or just somewhere and memories still come up, like repressed, repressed memories. 
Like I didn't know much about that until I realized even with repressed emotions from painful experiences or traumatic experiences, there are repressed memories. You know, you can research this, you know, and it makes me become more aware of having more self-compassion for myself, creating that safe place for myself and others. Because I realized it never was created for me. A lot of us never had a safe place to express ourselves. A lot of us never had a safe place to even create a, a, a healthy bond with a mother and a father. And how much it has, you know, whether we're unconscious of it or not, affects our daily relationship with ourselves and our kids and so forth. So, you know, as I be coming into more of this self-awareness and self-realization, as I stated here, um, from years of consistent unhealthy patterns led me down a path of looping through the same behavior patterns from being abused to blossoming into the abuser. It's like there's so many people that don't recognize that we inherently receive these things whether we know it or not. You know, and that's from the mother and father. And we develop these things into our adulthood. And as I read on, it says, uh, only, I only came to the self-realization, I became the very thing I hated. The childhood pain were like seeds planted in my mind and internal world. It began to grow like weeds in my garden, in my garden of life itself. Uh, and eventually spread uncontrollably like a wildfire again amongst the fruit of my own creation. So it's like even the we see progression in life. I know a lot of us has been there. Even as I see progression in my life, that does not still mean that there isn't a polarity to meaning that I can see the great things blossom from my life. So when I say, you know, how the weeds, the, the weeds are like in the way of being, the it can be people, it can be your experiences, it can be your traumas and so forth. And if we don't know how to address these things or even whether we seek out therapy or not, or even face it, these things become weeds. Imagine your, yourself as a garden and these things become weeds and like these things begin to, I think I said this on here, uh, they begin to suffocate. Imagine, you know, you have, let's say you, you have dealt with some type of depression or anxiety. You know, that can really suffocate. And I said that here, like, those repressed memories and traumatic experience suffocated the fruits. And that's why I stopped that. And what I mean by fruits, fruits are just like the things, the seeds that, the seeds that you've sown for your life. Um, and as you're, like, trying to progress in life and try to move forward, you're reminded with these traumatic experiences, these uh, repressed emotions, these things that... You know, even with myself, like daily that I still battle with and realize like, yes, I'm progressing, but I also cannot ignore the emotions. I cannot ignore the, the memories. I cannot ignore it because, again, it will replay. And that's the thing what trauma can do. That's the thing where a lot of painful experiences can do. It can replay. It just it doesn't just have an effect on you emotionally. It has an effect on your brain, your memory, your subconscious. And so when these things come up and these things come to the surface, here some of us are 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and people I even know that are at that age and still are just, there's still no accountability, still the in denial. Like I know people personally, no judgment, I'm not throwing a stone. It's just the fact of like, this is why I do it because I've come to my own self-realization and willing to, seek the uh, guidance and support and so forth that helps me now realize like going from being abused to the abuser to now realizing to advocate for both to be able to see the self abuse in it because you know from being in that mentality or being um, on the other side of it it's still a polarity to seeing that, well, what happened with this person for them to even demonstrate that behavior. And then most importantly, you know, a lot of us now are trying to weed out those very people, places, behaviors, 
and you know to to a to a point or to a place where we can just be at peace where we can have peace and make peace with those memories make peace with those people so that we can move on so we can be encouraged and so we can encourage others or be a guide in life not to save people but be a guide in life so um again that 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 I've been there, yo. When I didn't even know the titles of things, when I didn't even know the definition, I didn't know what depression, I didn't know depression was or anxiety and so forth. I didn't know what a lot of repressed emotions. And, and again, I'm not proclaiming to be a professional. I'm not trying to say that I'm an expert in whatever. I just come and express my truths. And I just feel like I've been gifted with a deeper awareness, you know, emotionally because I met myself at this place. And when I realized like authenticity cannot be threatened, then I realized like being honest with myself is also not lying to myself anymore. Not being, you know, because in that it's like creating foundations, again, from my internal space, my internal world, that if I don't face and accept the fact of what has happened in the past or these memories and acknowledge it and feel it and allow it to come up, then how could I say I have a solid foundation within myself or willing to build with other people the same? So I just want to share that with y'all again. A lot of things that we're probably internally battling with is a process of realizing or coming to the self-awareness that you too have, you, you have the solutions. You are the solutions to your problems. You know, a lot of us, I know myself in the past will get caught up in looking externally for that validation, acceptance, or approval, or even feeling like I needed an apology from people. But in reality, I had to apologize to myself. I had to forgive myself. I had to accept instead of trying to continue the loop of feeling of doing what other people would do, but, I mean, do because they never would apologize or they never would take accountability. So I had to come to this realization oh, being a generational curse breaker or becoming aware of this is that I'm supposed to do it first. And that's scary for a lot of us because that isn't a norm. You're talking about years and years and years of things where people just never took accountability. And the, I will just say this before I go is that see your role because we're all, our, 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 if you want to call it actors or whatever, you know how they say you're acting out or acting. But sit down and ponder and see your role in how your life has unfolded. See your role. Instead of being so focused on what keeps you distracted or what keeps you from actually healing or acknowledging the inner wounds or acknowledging who you are, most importantly, seeing the value in who you are. That's where it starts. The most important relationship starts with you. And the only way it's going to change is with you. We cannot change nobody. So I just want to share that with y'all. Just know that a lot of these things that are happening, again, life is not happening to you. It's literally happening for you. That's the mindset that has to change. And it's a process. So you don't have to drown anymore. You can come to surface. The only reason I tell people, like I tell myself, is like, it's more freeing when I had I had to get to a place when I allow people to be them. Like that, that, that was very challenging for me when I had to sit back and realize like, wow, she's probably gonna be like this the rest of her life. He probably gonna be like that. And I used to be that one that wanted to save everybody, feeling like I was having to be a therapist all the time. I'm telling you, I was that person. I feel like, oh, oh, I got the answer for that. Oh, I got this. And, and it was so much to where I was giving too much rather than finding my own solutions to my own, my own problems or my own what I needed to, you know, do for myself. And so that's, that's, that's important. It's like, take off the cape. Take off the cape and realize, like, it's you. Yep. So, y'all take care of yourself. Peace and blessings. Shalom.